Well, that was really, really fast. Really fast. They said that um, they only found one polyp, so he doesn't need another one for 10 years. He's gonna be thrilled to hear that. So I'm gonna go pick him up as soon as they wheel him out. I'm excited, it was so fast, so that means it went really well, and everything looked good, and that's a relief. I can't believe 10 years. He's gonna be 67 before he has to have another colonoscopy? How great is that? I thought he was gonna have to have him like every year. Okay, I'm waiting for him to come out, but last time he was still real drugged up when I got him, so he said some funny stuff. Uh, so we'll see what he's like. We won't say anything, I'll just record, but it'll be pretty funny. And I get him driving him. You guys never see me on this side, huh? Um, I think I've driven him like t less than 10 times, probably three times total since we've been married, and we've been married 20 years next month um yeah in like a month 20 years pretty cool but i'm excited and i can't wait for you to say something he'll probably be like talking about space i'll ask him about where he went when he was under because i told him to you know try to go somewhere this time and we'll see what happens <laughs> i'm sure he's gonna have all kinds of things about where he went so it'll be funny hi hi i'm walking in there he is hi so honey for it all i want <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thank Have a you. Great day, See ya. Guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Look, she's very nice. You can take your mask off. How are you feeling? Fantastic. They said they found a little green guy in there. The hell does that mean? Like a little green guy. Like an alien? Like maybe you ate something as a child? Are you being serious? They're going to send it to me. They're going to check serious? it first. What was a little green guy doing in there? And what does it mean? Like a G.I. Joe? Like I had a, an object in there? A little green guy is what she said. That makes sense. It does? Look at it. Explain how it makes sense. Because when I was very young, I spent a lot of time alone. Yeah. And uh, so I talked to. Come on out of there. I talked to. Um, oh, I gotta buckle up. Yeah, buckle up. I talked to what I could eat. Yeah, you can eat anything you want. Son of a gun. But I would talk to. There was a voice I talked to. A little green guy? It would talk back. I don't know if it was green, but I wouldn't be surprised. Mm hmm. And. Uh, and there was like two key moments in my life where that voice said, don't go that way. Oh, and so I, you don't think it was God? You think it was a green guy? I think it was God, but he could have been having somebody that I would have responded to better to deliver the message. Yeah, like, he's a, little, serious? He's a, a little boy that lives in my mouth, behind my teeth, he hides behind my teeth. I think this one was just inside of me. Mm. What, did they show it to you? No, she just called it a little green guy. I'm not sure what she was talking about, but... Wow. I know. So hopefully we'll get that back from the lab and see what that was. Where did you go when they put you under? You remember how you were going to go to Mars or space and somewhere? I was like so... So... Happy. <laughs> Try to keep the cussing to a minimum. I just couldn't believe it. You were so happy like to take a nap or just to be high? I was just so happy where where I was. It was really nice. Yeah. And uh, I was thirsty. Oh, here. But I was, I can drink. Yeah, you can drink here, have coffee. A little bit of coffee, this will help you. Really? Yeah, everybody needs coffee in the morning. You say coffee for everything. Yes. This could blow my ass out. That's all right. get home I'm gonna cook you a yummy breakfast she said it does, doesn't have to be anything special for breakfast um, but I, know I can you can eat whatever I'm not gonna hurt my butthole nope you're gonna be feeling good once you get food in you I really do think that when you go under there's like I, I think God's there
truly are all together. Like yeah. whether we like it or not. You know what I mean? Like we're all right here on this earth right now together. Yeah. yeah. That's right. There's you go back whether you believe it's two and a half million years or how long you figure, they were all together. And then they got yeah, us got to where we are now. Well truly if it's a simulation, it could have started when you your first recognition of anything. It could be your simulation we're all in right now. And you just started right when you were born or whatever your first memory was, that's when it started. You never know. Well, but we do have control. Do you think we're in your simulation? I think... Is it possible? It's possible, but I think we have control of what happens. But we gotta, we gotta. In this simulation. We gotta believe it. Remember when I, I had that stuff written down, and and one of the things that I wrote down was it described you before I ever met you. Do you remember that? Kind of. Like I described you. It'd be interesting to read it now, cause I think we've got it if you if you wrote it down and I we had it. Yeah, I was. But that would be funny, because what if it doesn't describe me met. anymore? Oh, it described you. Oh. It totally described you. Well, guess what? In a month, we've been married for 20 years. Wow. So, you've had 20 You're years really to... really driving good. What? Yeah, like the... I don't feel... Anxiety? I don't feel like I'm in danger. <laughs> I didn't switch three lanes. Is that car don't? Uh-uh. That's Cardone. Is it? That was She the lets size him like poop on somebody else's grass? Yeah, that's him. Honey, no. She doesn't know this car, you don't have to get in a conversation. Hi Cardone. Anybody else you want to say hi to? Well Cardone, we gotta be friends for that thing. He'll kill he's Putty a, if not. He's eleven months old and he looks like a horse. Yeah. And he doesn't like tiny little tanner next door. This driving right here, honey, is how I always drive. You're just always on high alert. That's yeah, the difference. Good. So maybe you've changed now. Maybe you're just in a relaxed mode now. You're doing good. Like, look how slowly I'm taking this turn. Did they tell you what happened to my bus? The green guy? What do you mean, what happened to it? No, like how they said that... I don't know all the details, but I do know they said... Um, yeah, it looked good see, in 10 years. 10 years. They found one polyp, and she said, so that means it's 10 years. So you'll be 67 by the time they have to that do is, this again. That's because of the way we're eating. It could be. Our life, the eating, the just the way that we're approaching life. Seriously. Yeah, 10 years. If they would have saw me when, before we started when doing When we were doing all diet, that fast food, and we are <laughs> They'd have been like, this, this son of a bitch is dying. We got to get this guy in next month for another one. Ten years. Yeah. So they didn't say anything about, that to me, about, whoa, he wasn't prepped enough. You know, you were cleaned out enough. And they showed Did me pictures. Did you see my I bed? I got pictures. Did you see my bed? Like, I, I, I was curious if I was, like, just before. I saw the bed when I was in the room with you. Just before I went under, like, they take you in this room. And it's all freaking, like. Like the spaceship and alien is what I was thinking of. You know how there's all this. It was just all technology. Yeah, and I was like, they go, hey, go to the side a little bit. And then she said, since I'm skinny, yeah, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give it to you right now. Like okay. I literally was still moving in, and she goes, hey, since you're skinny, <laughs> you're like I wasn't skinny before this, this, but I'm skinny the last four months. But she said, since you're skinny. You're gonna get it right now, and that's your bonus. And I was like, okay. And then it? the the drugs. Oh. She put me under like. You're like, could you give me half a dose so I can stay in that twilight zone for a while? It was spectacular. I bet. Like. How do we get a hold of that stuff? I don't even know what it's called. Anesthesia. I think it has to be done by it's somebody dog. Because she said if I. If my heart and lungs stop, she's going to put me to sleep, and then I'll be all right. That'd be a good way to go. If you were going to have to go, 
be, go in that nice twilight zone, not like in a car crash where you're like, ah, yeah, shark attack. I'm, you're already I'm happy. I'm experiencing stuff when I was high in there. Yeah, you just go right into that next realm. You know what somebody wrote that we need to put on our tombstone onto the next? It's perfect. Onto the next. I'm, I know that there's something there. Yeah. I know it. Thanks for um, driving. Honey, it's only been two hours. And you're already oh, like, we gotta home. get Putty out. Yeah, we gotta go get her out. Okay. Well, what room did they put me in? Surgery room. Did she roll me out in a chair or in a. Um... You got wheeled out from the room. Remember me going in the room with you? In the beginning, yes. Uh huh. Then you got wheeled down the hallway and then you went into the spaceship room or something where the little green men are. And then that lady took me out in. She has to have the colonoscopy frequently because all her. Everybody was getting. The lady Colon that wheeled cancer. you out, I'm pretty sure, is the one that came and talked to me and told me. Uh, tell you should about me? her colon cancer or colon, no, her. She said her mom has to get them uh, every three years because yeah. she has a lot of polyps. Yeah. So, Since you only had one, you so only have to do has, one. She has to get them regularly. She said you thanked her for having a good nap, that you slept really well. <sighs> this, this, the way we're eating, I guarantee you, has made, would made that easier. Yeah. Don't you just feel it? Oh like, yeah. I feel my body was prepared for that. My body was like, hey. If I'm we hadn't ready to... eaten a massive breakfast beforehand, it would have probably been even better. I didn't have an issue though. But, but you had just, enough energy. I did have a moment when, when they were rolling me in, the mm -hmm. anesthesiologist and that, and uh, doctor. No, that guy. He's a nurse, but he's called oh, some the, kind of nurse. Mm -hmm. Like he's a high level. Yeah. Nurse. He's. You know, as they were rolling me, and I was like, uh oh, because I thought I felt a gurgle. Yeah. And I was like, son of a gun. And then something inside me just said, hey. Suck it up. Don't worry about it. No, don't worry about it. They have to see worse than this. Yes. Yes, they do. And we should go check your butt, like wipe with a baby wipe. I'll go take a shower. Yeah, that's a good idea. But we should check your butt. Video and my butt. Not video it, but just wipe it and see if there's a bunch of stuff all over it. Is it a little itchy? I, I just, no. Okay. I, I don't feel sore either. That's good. So they use a small probe. <laughs> you I know what? Take a shower, Hold on. Though. New thought. That coffee tastes so good. Have a drink of it while I tell you this. I don't this have new my thought. ring. You left it on the kitchen table. Oh. Or the table here. I um, only have my ring off twice. Well, think about I this. Unless I went fishing. Hmm. Um, one time. It was so cold in the ocean. Does this that... have any coffee in it? <laughs> Jeez. Did you drink it all? I my intent was to drink it all, but it went so fast that keep going. I is the lid shut? No, the lid is open, but how much it this thing had to be topped off. It's like to here. Alright. Did they talk to you about when I can eat and what I could eat? You can eat anything you want right now. It's not going to have, I nope. don't have a... She said you are supposed to have a high fiber diet the rest of your life. What does that mean? What we're doing is fine. We have plenty of veggies, plenty of, we got oats, meat, whatever. We got all kinds of stuff fibering it up on the way out. We got to go get are petty you, out. Are you pot, okay. Keep going. It's not too hot. You're not going to burn. There you go. I see some coming. Hmm. Wow. This this keeps it nice and warm for you. That flavor. Delicious. I don't know if you've tasted it. Did you I crack did taste your thing? No, you didn't. I did taste it, as you know, because wow. it's almost empty. You said. <laughs> Just enjoy the moment. Oh my god. can't wait for you to watch this back. <laughs> Am I allowed to take a nap? Yes. Yeah, let's Should get I... you in bed and I'll make breakfast and I'll bring it to the bedroom. Should I take a shower first? I don't even think you need one. Just get in bed and I'll change the sheets and stuff and I'll wash them today and um, just have a nice day doing nothing. Okay, I'm happy to I'm have sure you. I'm sure they said that there's I'm not, I can eat stuff that's not going to hurt Everything. Me. You can eat anything you want, um, and you can start eating immediately when you get home. 
First thing you're having is some Kiefer Sutherland. You're having two scoops of that. Yes, you got a question? Hold on. Oh, I was just saying thank you to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. What is this? Your glasses? Oh, yeah. Socks you were wearing. You're wearing your sweet socks right now. Yeah, sweet. You got, do I got Where are your glasses? Um, okay. Okay, you're good. Let's get out. Okay, do I got a, um, you got my, my, uh, phone? driver's license and stuff? Mm -hmm. I don't need my phone. Okay. Oh, that was unbelievable. On to the next.